There's a, and there's a difference between using the drug and the drug using you, I'll tell you. I'm 55. I moved here in 82 from the other side, from the Western Slope. Um, I've been actively involved since 82 in the homeless here. The thing I see the most here is self-medicating, and that's because our mental health system just cannot supply with what they need. You know, they go in with some serious problems. Some of these people, when they don't self-medicate, they run around and scream and rant and rave, and they're delusional. And when they come back, they don't know that they were there, okay? And I've watched them for 70 days. They don't know that they're doing that. So, you know, we kind of stay out. Of, we, we actually go out of our way to keep them real, all real calm. You know, people that are doing too much, we, we'll slack up on them, and, you know, people are looking out for each other. We don't have too many drug overdoses. Um, because everybody's looking out for each other. Everybody's well-trained. Almost everybody here is a first responder. Um, not necessarily because they wanted to learn, but they learned. Actually, I was with one club. I was in the wrong clubhouse and I overdosed on cocaine. It caused a lot of problems. And I haven't done it since. Then I overdosed twice on opiates. Fortunately, that was in the hospital. They brought me back with Narcon, which Detox took away from me and sent me back here with nothing to really, you know, it's not easy to get. They also took all the syringes because I was only giving them out one at a time and I went through a hundred a month. I'm telling you, some of these people are compulsively clean, very damn educated. I mean, God, some of these people here have master's degrees in electronics. I, and we got a girl over here, I think she's what, 32? She, she was, went to school to build power plants. To do the, yeah, blueprints on them. Yeah, and that's what she wants to do, and she just can't seem to get out of the rut. It's like the homeless shelter and these places that say that you're gonna help you with housing, bullshit. What they do is they fill out a, the application, send it in, you go on a list, and nine times out of 10, they can't find you because you're homeless, you know what I mean? I've missed um, opportunities, what, six times since my husband passed away. We used to own businesses here in town. Yeah, and people don't even know. You know, one day you could be sitting on Scotty's, and then tomorrow you won't own shit. <laughs> and you know, I wasn't doing drugs, and I wasn't drinking. <laughs>